हाई एवरी वन चलो नाउ लेट्स ट्राई टू सॉल्व द फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन दिस लुक्स अ वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन बट आई हैव सीन अ लॉड ऑफ पीपल मेकिंग मिस्टेक्स वील ट्राई टू सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इन मल्टीपल डिफरेंट वेज एंड वील सी वेर एग्जैक्टली अ लॉड ऑफ पीपल जनरली डू सम कॉमन एरर्स ठीक है तो द क्वेश्चन इज सिंपल आई नीड टू कैलकुलेट द परसेंटेज सैलरी बाई डिपार्टमेंट डी थ्री राइट सो वेन यू हियर दिस जस्ट ट्राई टू इमेजिन राइट परसेंटेज सैलरी ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट डी थ्री बाई द टोटल सैलरीज ऑफ ऑल डिपार्टमेंट राइट दैट्स वॉट दे आर एक्जैक्टली लुकिंग आउट फॉर सो इफ आई कुड क्रिएट फ्रॉम दिस एम्प्लॉय टेबल इफ आई कुड क्रिएट वन समराइज टेबल राइट वेर आई हैव ऑल द डिपार्टमेंट एंड आई कुड डू द टोटल डिपार्टमेंट सैलरी राइट सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट टेबल इफ आई कैन इफ आई कैन ट्राई टू क्रिएट इमेजिन दिस पार्ट राइट एंड द नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज कैन आई ऑल्सो एट द टोटल सैलरी विद इन दिस टेबल राइट इफ 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 दिस टेबल वुड हैव दीज थ्री कॉलम्स all i need to do is divide your total department salary divided by the total salary that's it that's that's what will give you the department salary and simply try to take the filter of it right now let's try to do and let's try to solve this question in uh, my sql workbench and let's see how we can solve this so here is the data exact same data that we've seen what do i need to do the first step now this is what this is how i'll try to proceed from your employee table okay now what what all do i need i simply need the department id so your department is department id comma right sum of salary so this is what this is your as department salary salary now i will have to group this data by department id now this will is department salary and how do i get total salary simple i think we've done this before select sum of salary from employee theek okay? hai as your total salary now say given the question was specifically for given the question was specifically for department d3 right i can simply filter first so department id equal to d3 so if you run this query so you will get what department d3 department salary total salary right so whatever i was showing in this excel i can get these three columns very easily there is nothing that is that is worrisome right now rather than getting all the four rows i simply care about this third row right so i can initially filter my data for just d3 so i have initially filtered my data for d3 this is the best approach right because you are filtering as much as possible then i am doing the aggregation part and the way i am calculating total salary is through one kind of a sub query within that theek okay? hai that's how i am trying to calculate the uh, the total total salary part theek okay? hai so this is one of the ways now all you need to do is simply divide this so rather than this rather than having these two columns i can simply divide this part uh and maybe i can call this as rather than total salary i can call it as percentage salary theek okay? hai by d3 now if you run this you will have this you can even multiply it by 100 theek okay? hai this works right what is the second way now the second way that i have seen you can or the second way that you can try this is simple select now what people do is they will not do filter so from your employee what they are doing is they will try to do it like this they'll do a case when department id is equal to d3 then salary else zero end theek okay. hai so what this is doing this is going to every row and for every row it is searching whether this department id was d3 or not if it is d3 they are saying add one column get their salary else make it zero for let's say a d4 department theek okay. hai and they'll do a sum of this so what what will happen here this is nothing but your department wise salary right and and specifically for d3 department salary this is right 
and then what they are doing sum of salary this is your total salary from employee now the, you don't need to filter right rather than using a filter ideally what they are trying to do they are trying to create a case when condition this will also work right but this is not the best possible way of writing this query okay why because if i could filter anything initially i should do that right here imagine if the data was exceedingly huge right then it is not needed that you create this case when statement right if you could have filtered this out you should try doing this filter part this is correct for this particular data set it's it's too small it does not really matter but yeah try to always utilize the where condition right uh, during query optimization it is highly required that you filter everything which is um, which could be filtered okay so this is correct nothing wrong this is this is the best possible approach uh, as i'm saying right uh, for bigger data set this might not be the best uh, approach now the common mistake that i have seen uh, during this question when i have asked during interviews is is this right if you run this query it will also give you the same result but the problem with this query is that you are not understanding the level of this table right so if you just run this part if you simply run this part you will find out that it is kind of repeating what is happening is that since the table was at employee id level for department d1 there were three employees mapped to it so therefore you are getting these three rows theek hai and after that what you've done is you've applied the sum salary partition by department id so it is giving you 1200 it is doing the summation at that window but for employee id1 employee id2 employee id3 right therefore you are getting these three rows same thing there is a repetition for total salary right therefore there was not a need to use partition by here right it was not needed irrespective of that you will be able to get the right answer right what you will do is on top of that you will filter for department id d3 and then you will apply a group by function or a distinct clause both will give you one answer but this is not the best way of doing it right what is the best way of doing it we've already seen it in in just above part so pick that part don't unnecessary create problems by adding partitions without understanding the table level theek hai thank you